Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be talking about a Shiel Hao uh combination. Okay, um, so just a review of our Shiel Hao. A Shiel Hao is a strike that you know basically you're stepping off to the side, you're pushing your blade in and cutting down. Okay, if the person is close enough, we're going to actually cut. Uh, if they're slightly, uh, if they're a little further back. We're going to follow up with a thrust, okay? Um, the main characteristic of this cut, though, is that we're pushing the blade off to the side. Uh, basically, there's an incoming blade here. There's a, there's a Zornhau cut coming in. We're catching it out here, and, you know, we're keeping it from coming in. Um, this way, we can basically thrust through, okay? So, this is going to be very useful to us against a shield, okay? Um, and I have this shield position here. Um, so that the person is basically facing in that direction for the shield on this side this represents the sword okay um, so let's let's talk about a zorn how if I cut a zorn how from here right uh, if I come down to the right side it's gonna basically hit on the shield if I cut down on the left side it's gonna basically cut to the to the sword up there or if I try to come in lower over here it's gonna basically hit the shield edge, okay? And I'm basically, I'm starting from the, the high vantage, so I can go right or left, okay? So as you can see, I'm hitting shield. Now with the shield how, because it's coming off to the side, I'm able to get behind the shield, okay? So basically I did not, you know, my feet are in the same position. So zone how right, zone how left, right? Okay, but shield how, gets nicely behind that shield because the hands are pushed off to the side over here. Um, so that's gonna that's gonna be very useful to us. Now we're gonna use this in combination with the Zornhau and, and the reason is let me grab another shield. If I'm in this guard like this, okay, and I see somebody making that that shield how cut, I'm basically gonna bring my this edge in a little bit. And I don't have to go that far. I mean, when I was making the shield how, the shield how was basically, you know, you know, basically it was coming in with maybe an inch or two of spear. Okay, so the shield how is coming in like that. So a person only needs to move it over about two inches to block it. But what happens, look at this corner. When I move this in about two inches, look how much space I create up here. I've now made a nice big target area uh, to on the side of my head, so that's why we're going to basically um, we're going to we're going to use the shield how zwerch how combination. Now with the single handed sword, the way we're going to do that that work that uh, shield how is basically we're going to dip the tip down a little bit over here. You know, we're keeping our shield forward here, and we're cutting in like that. Um, there is a risk. I'll wait for it to die down so you guys can hear me. Um, what we want to do is we need to wind this shot up a little bit. So basically we're using these the lat muscles in order to generate power. Okay, so we want to do that from out of measure. Okay, uh, so what I'm going to do is from out of measure. Right, let's say this is my opponent here. Okay, so from out of measure, I'm going to wind my sword up over here and then step in and make my cut. I don't want to do that cut up here because basically my hand, uh, my arm is vulnerable for that matter. So I want to initiate this cut from out of measure uh, and then safely move in. You know, because what's going to happen is, okay, there, there's the, the hand is vulnerable there, but I'm out of measure. As I'm stepping in, the sword now comes forward and I'm able to complete that cut. So, so that's how we're going to do this shield how uh, um, with a sword and shield against another sword and shield, okay? So, uh, we're here, I'm gonna wind up, come in, like that, to make that cut, okay? Now, what I wanna do with my feet, um, I want to, because I wanna end up up here, okay? Basically, here we're, we're sort of planning ahead. Um, with all these combinations, you know, you, you know, don't expect your first shot to hit. The first shot is basically set up for the second shot. So, I wanna end up, this foot leading, right, with this foot's gonna end up here, so then I can turn around 
and make these work out on, on the right side. Um, so what I'm gonna do is when I when I come in with that shield now, okay, here I'm out of measure, okay? I'm gonna step in, do my, as I'm stepping, I'm doing my wind up, come in, get inside the shield, and then from there, come in over the top over here, okay? Uh, I'm gonna do this with the buckler so that you guys can see it better. Um, the the larger sea shield basically is not an issue at all here. Basically, it doesn't, you know, I, I really don't have to change the way I do this um, at all. Um, so, so here I am, I'm out of measure. Um, the nice thing about the buckler is I can actually lift the buckler up and protect my hand. The buckler does give me, um, you know, it, it basically, it, with the shield, I can't cut through my shield. I can't get in the way of my own shield. Uh, I have to work around the shield. With the buckler, because it's smaller, uh, it allows me a little bit more flexibility. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm out of measure. I'm going to wind up my cut. I'm going to come in. I'm going to make it. They're going to probably bring this shield over a little bit to protect themselves. And then from there, step around and make my zwerch out, um, keeping the buckler out here to you know, um, uh, to, you know, to, to, to protect myself, okay? Um, if I'm stepping around, it's going to be pretty hard for them to hit me unless they, they pivot out. I mean, with any of these um, combinations, I mean, there's always a counter. There's always a way to just get out of it. Um, so basically, the, the other person does need to make a mistake. In this case, they're not pivoting. Um, they are basically falling for this... Um, you know, this is misdirection because I'm using the shield how as a misdirection. Okay, so I'm here. They're gonna block it. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm throwing it into the into the shield edge because basically they've moved their shield over now. Okay. So as they move it that way, they've opened up that side of the head. Um, if they don't move it over, if they don't move it over, right, then it's just gonna come in, uh, and I would just still follow up with that shot. So in that case. I would get two hits, okay? Um, now, the cool thing about this shield house wrench out combination, uh, it can work either way. I can start off with these wrench out, okay? So start off with these wrench out here, and then from here, end up with a shield how, okay? So, so from out of measure here, okay? As I step in, make my wrench out, step to this side, and cut down, of course, I'm following that shield edge down. I'll do it this way so you guys can see. So I'm starting off with these wedge out here, and then I'm cutting down. So basically, it's a, it's it, it, basically I'm scooping it down. Okay, so it's wedge out, right? I'm making that wedge out here. I end up in this position, and then I, you know, I follow it down. Um, so it can work either way. Let's do this one more time. So from out of measure, all right, you step in, make your cut, and then from there. Come down when you when you make that switch how um what they're most likely going to do they're going to move their their shield over a little bit because just like before i said if you start with the shield how they're going to most likely bring their shield in to block over here and open up their head up here okay and if you start off with these switch how uh basically they're most likely going to move their shield out this way right they're going to move that corner to catch that that switch out and they can open themselves up more on this side okay so that's why it works well um you know backwards and forwards um so if you guys got any questions or comments please post them any feedback I, you know i'd love to hear from you guys if you like the video give it a thumbs up uh if you're not a subscriber please subscribe i'll talk to you guys next time